Hey, Aries JJ here. Thank you for your interest in Aries coils. Today we're going to go over how to properly install, balance, wick, and initially juice your coils for ease of installation. Now we already have our tools already laid out over on the build station and we'll cover those and any potential issues that may come up during the installation process. Please note that this video is unedited and uncut so you can see any issues as they come up firsthand and how to adjust and accommodate for those issues as they arise. Uh, so let's go ahead and head on down to the build station and we'll get started. Now, first and foremost, you're going to need your mod and your RDA. In this case, I'm using a Twisted Messes Gold AF, uh, but a RTA or RDTA are also acceptable as the installations are similar. The mod that we have today is the RX-23 uh, that has a bottom cutoff of 0 0.1 ohms. Now, this will come in uh, especially crucial if you're using something like the Anarchist or the stainless steel coils, as all of my coils ohm out much lower than the final product uh, until they're balanced out. Next, we need the appropriate tool to tighten down the leads. In my case, I'm using a hex driver, but yours may require a screwdriver. If you have access to a coil master with a 2.5 or a three millimeter uh, mandrel, that will come in especially handy for adjusting and tweaking the coils as it comes up. If you don't, if you have access to a precision screwdriver set, those will work in a pinch. Ceramic tweezers also uh, make for an easier installation to work out any hot spots, but are not absolutely necessary. You will also need snips to adjust your leg length to prevent any shorting from one quilt to the next. In addition, we'll also need our scissors and our cotton. Uh, now today I will be using Muji cotton, which is 50 millimeters by 60 millimeters, and I will show you how I wick once we get to that stage. The coils that we're using today are the standard fused, which are a canthal core wrapped in nichrome 80. When you take them out of the puck, which the puck will n normally have a label on it indicating which coil you have, what the inner diameter is, and if there's a letter on the bottom, it will indicate what material it's made out of. K means that the entire coil is made out of canthal. A and 80 means that the cores are Anarchist 80, uh, 26 gauge. SS stands for stainless steel all the way throughout the coil. And if there's nothing at the bottom, no letter indication, that means that it's a standard set with uh, canthal cores wrapped in nichrome 80. You'll notice that I have left the legs intentionally long on these coils, and that is to allow the opportunity to add an extra wrap if you see fit. Now, I will be using these coils as is for this installation. So let's go ahead and get these extra tools out of the way that we're not going to be using right off the bat and get started. Now, the Twisted Messes Gold AF is a two post block system where the positive is over here on the right, the negative is over here on the left. Uh, I normally use the skip a space uh, method, but you can use whatever is appropriate for your RDA and vape style. What I do for mine is I generally cut off the leg that's going to be closest to the interior of the uh, RDA. A little bit shorter, I generally leave about five to six millimeters in length. If you're going to adjust your coils prior to installation, always err on the side of length. You can always cut off more later, but you can never add back after you've cut. So we're going to install these into the RDA and use our tool to tighten down. I like to tighten down my outside first, followed by my interior second. And we will go ahead and snip off the excess length as flush as we can to the RDA. And we will do the same with the other side. Again, cutting off our lead at about the six millimeter mark and installing as normal. The reason I cut them off ahead of time is due to clearance issues. It may, it, it's rather difficult to uh, snip the lead that is hidden behind the uh, secondary coil. Now you want these leads to be tight but not overly so as you don't want to shear the leads of the coil off. Again we will go ahead and 
trim this leg down and don't be a uh, caught off guard if your coils come out looking a little odd and misshapen that's where the coil master or the uh, screwdriver come in handy as you can take the mandrel out of the coil master and adjust as needed we're going to use this to center up and slightly pull away from the blocks of the RDA. Once we've accomplished that, we're going to start the balancing process. Keep your mandrel or screwdriver close by as it, it will be instrumental in the leveling process. Now your coil may ask you uh, if it's a new coil obviously it's going to be a new coil so you're going to tell it yes now this particular model does not ask that but we see right now that this is ohming in at a 0.11 ohm note this is not the final ohm level of this coil set this coil set in particular uh, will average between 0.2 and 0.22 and i will show you how to get that process so we're going to start off by slowly pulsing our coils now most people would have you adjust as you work your way through to work out any hot spots i found ideally that if you just keep pulsing the heat will gradually work its way across the entire length of the coil and if you adjust it all at once you can see that the coil is starting to heat all the way across now it's still glowing much brighter on this outer edge but it is starting to heat all the way across with hot spots in there don't let these be alarming to you. Now that we've got it heated all the way across, we're going to simply take our mandrel, give it a little wiggle on both sides, just put it in, wiggle, and pull it right back out. Blow on it to cool it off just a little bit, and it should be glowing fairly evenly all the way across. Now we can see that this one's not quite there yet. This is where the ceramic tweezers come in handy because we can recrimp on both sides and brush out any hot spots so let's give this a blow to cool it off real quick and do it one final check and we can see that for the most part it's glowing evenly give it one more little wiggle and we're set and ready now always leave your RDA to cool just a little bit before you actually begin your wicking process uh, because you don't want to scorch your cotton the moment you stick it in. Now again, the cotton that I'm going to be using today is Muji cotton. This is the, 50, the standard 50 millimeters by 60 millimeter length uh, cotton pad. Uh, for the 2.5 millimeter coils, one quarter of the pad is adequate per coil. Now, one thing that I did not cover during that installation because the issue did not arise. A lot of coils, or a lot of uh, mods, as I said, have a uh, 0.1 ohm cutoff for them. In the event that, that issue arises for you and the coils begins to ohm much lower than that 0.1 cutoff, you can always uh, remove one of the coils, get it balanced and leveling even insert the other coil and work it from there and that will allow them to uh, to balance out much easier while maintaining the safety level needed with my cotton i'm going to peel off this outer matted layer give it just a little roll if you have your own preferred wicking method, by all means, go for it. This is just what I found to be the best for me personally. I'm gonna give my coils a little touch, make sure that they're nice and cool, and they are. So I'm going to stick this in, and I'm just gonna twist it through. You want your, coil, your cotton to be snug, but not so tight that it pulls and misshapes your coil. Snip your cotton length appropriately for your RDA. And repeat for the other side. Now, if you happen to be working with a single coil setup, 
obviously you would uh, skip the second side and move on to the juicing of the coil. So we will get this one worked in. Pull it on through. Slice these legs just a little bit. Okay, and then we're just going to take a small screwdriver or ceramic tweezers, whatever you have handy, and we're just going to tuck the cotton down inside. Make sure that you leave plenty of airflow room underneath the bottom of the coil on both sides as it allows the coil more optimal cooling and heating properties. So you can see that we have plenty of clearance underneath the, the coil on both sides. That is what you're looking for. And now this is ready to juice up and go. Now to juice the coils, of course, use any method that you prefer. The way that I would juice mine is I saturate the coil itself and let that sit. I do that on both sides. And then I go through and I wick or uh, juice up the wick legs. You don't have to completely drown it. Just adequate enough to make sure that the cotton is saturated. Pulse it a few times to let that cotton uh, in the middle of the coil get adequately juiced by going through and replacing and just do this a few times okay and we're all set up and these coils ended up ohming out at 0.19 which is within the acceptable range 0.19 to to 0.22 is as well within acceptable range for these coils. Now, your mod may not automatically update the ohm level of the coils. If that's the case, simply unscrew the RDA from the mod, fire the mod without the RDA attached, and reset the mod by rescrewing on, hit the fire button to pick up the new ohm level. So let's go ahead and take this back up to the face cam and we will go from there. So again, we've just wicked up and juiced the Twisted Messes Gold AF using the standard fuse. I'm running these at uh, 50 watts. You don't have to have anything powerful, but uh, you know, adjust as, as you see appropriate for your vaping style. And that's an amazing vape. I'm gonna go ahead and pump this up. I now have it at 80 watts. Again, it's an amazing vape. It's all, it all comes down to how you want to vape your juice on your mod with your coils. Thank you again for your interest in Aries coils. I hope that you enjoy using them as much as I enjoy making them. As always, be safe in your vaping adventure by practicing battery safety and mod safety. Above all else, make sure to enjoy your vaping experience to the fullest. It's not what you vape, it's how you vape. On that note, have a good one. Bye.